I love great conversations. Hi, my name is Angel Jones. Thank you for joining me on 12 Minute Convos, where I help you create a brand of your own unique real self. Listen in as I have conversations with amazing people from all over the world. Good night, good night, Michael Arias. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I'm doing pretty good, man. And yourself? I am excellent, my friend. A, a thought just popped in my mind. Um, when people are listening to the podcast, they're possibly thinking one episode is contained uh, as one entity in itself, right? But it just uh-huh. it's really fascinating jumping from conversation to conversation and being, ooh, it's, I'd like to, I need to go listen and see how it sounds. Like if it's sounding as one or is it sounding as though this guy is in and out of um, spaces? Because I'm in and out of spaces, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, which brings us to the concept of dental hygiene. But before we do that, what part of the uh, world are you in, Michael? I'm in Southern California right now. Oh, all right, all right. And which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? Uh, well, I'm a. I'm pretty sure it's podcasting. I'm, I'm a podcaster. I'm a content creator, and I do ground marketing for dentists. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a podcasting one. Yeah, most definitely. Tell us the name of the podcast, please. It's called the Dental Marketer Podcast. And so I pretty much just help dentists with their business, specifically on the marketing side. Well, that's great. Uh, who did you learn this skill from? Um, I guess I learned it from my my parents, to be honest with you. Um, it's really just talking a lot and learning how to build relationships with local businesses. And uh, my mom does that all the time. She just talks a lot. So I guess that's why I, d- I do the same thing. I, I ended up talking a lot too. <laughs> so does your yeah. father speak as much as your mom or does your mom hold the nah. trophy for that? My mom holds the trophy for that all the time. Like mm. I, I, I try to compete sometimes, but I can't. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Well, how has the podcast impacted your business and what you do? Oh man, Angel, it's impacted it tremendously. I, I honestly started it just to, you know, sh- tell people in my own community how I'm doing everything. I never intended it to grow as much as it is now. And, you know, reaching out everybody in over 80 countries right now, um, I just really just wanted to help people for free. But now it's opened up so many doors and I can do it full time now. That's wonderful. Well done. Well done. Why will you continue to repeat the skill, Michael, of what you bring via your podcast? Uh, pays bills. But besides that, um, <laughs> it mainly, uh, it's just... I, l- I love helping people out. I love talking to people. I mean, you know how it is when you talk, because I interview uh, people all the time. So it's the same thing when you talk to them. It's like you're, you're learning something, right? Or you're, you're, just, you're just vibing with them, and I love doing that. Yeah, most definitely. Just like we're vibing right now again with Michael Arias. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's just fun, definitely fun. Where is the best place for people that are listening to connect with you, Michael? Uh, anywhere they listen to podcasts. So on, just type in The Dental Marketer. And then they can find it on iTunes or the dentalmarketer.org or anywhere really where they listen to iTunes or podcasts. What's one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years? Uh, exercise. Ooh, exercise. Ooh, how does yeah. that make you feel? Oh, man, that makes me feel, I mean, it makes me feel great. I love, I love doing it. I've been doing it for, for a really long time now, but now I've just done it to enjoy myself, you know? Mm. What type of exercise are you doing? So back in the day, I used to compete um, in physique, and it's not so much bodybuilding, but it's more like just board shorts, and you physique try and look the most lean possible. So I used to lift weights, do a lot of cardio. A lot of times I hated it. I hated to diet, eat nothing but chicken breast and, you know, um, green beans. But now um, I've changed my lifestyle a lot. I do it, you know, I just exercise. I do a lot of weight training. I'm vegan now, so I just try and stay as, as lean and healthy as possible Mm, that's great to hear how does it make you feel oh man it makes me feel so great so great that i don't have to i mean like you know you know how it is when you're exercising i mean you feel you wake up with more energy you can go throughout the day with more energy you sleep when you're supposed to sleep Uh, it just feels great wonderful wonderful again amazing audience you're hearing it live here from michael arias again he is the podcast host of the dental marketer podcast a pretty amazing conversations going on there like he definitely has niched down the market and bringing the information but there are definitely principles there for businesses as well uh, Mm -hmm. selling and marketing but michael let's switch gears for a moment now let me invite you into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful warm blue caribbean water Michael, what is your earliest childhood memory? 
my earliest childhood memory what I would have to say is I remember um, we were in an RV and we were living in an RV and it was such a small broken down RV and it was my mom, my dad, my brother and me. We lived in a, a like a couch bed, right? And I just remember coloring on a coloring book and the light hitting the coloring book and, you know, just me thinking there's nothing wrong in this world right now. Like this is the best thing that can ever happen. That's probably my earliest childhood memory. How old were you? Oh, man, I had to say I was probably six or seven, six or seven. How do you see this memory connecting to who you are today? Um, I think I see it as, well, that's a good question. I think I see that because I kind of feel like at that moment, you know, although like, you know, you're a kid, you don't know that you're homeless. You don't know that you're just living in an RV, you know, doing nothing. I, and to me, I felt like I had everything. So even when I feel sometimes that I have nothing, I always think like I have more than some people like never have, you know, so I should always appreciate like where I'm at in life. Hmm. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. All right. If we fast forward it to when you were 12, what was your favorite song? Oh, 12? I was probably skateboarding around that time. So <laughs> my favorite song, probably that, I think it's called Fly by Sugar Ray. Like, I just want to fly. Dude. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, That's yeah. you singing as well. Ooh, you're in the <laughs> groove. <laughs> yeah, I like that song. Love it. Well, Michael, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form, so it's yes or no, possibly a bit more. We're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? Okay, I think I'm ready. Michael, have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yes. Are you married? Yes. Do you have children? No. Do you believe in God? Yes. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Mm, not, not really, no. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Mm, not, not yet. Not yet. 2.5. <laughs> what about screen time? The phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, more than eight. Big time. Michael, after having a thousand and one conversations in three months in 2016, I came up with a workbook. The name of it is called Yours. It stands for your own unique real self. And the idea is you answer questions similar to these to bring reflection that connects you to your own unique real statement, which I equate mm -hmm. to your mission, right? If you, Michael, had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents Michael Arias, what would you say that is? I'd probably say um, it's, it's, it's kind of like a statement that's been heard before, but um, try not to be a man of success, but be more of a man of value mm -hmm. to everyone. Love it. Michael, this has been a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Uh, no, just if you guys want to listen to the Dental Marketer podcast, it's a lot of funny conversations and just, you know, learning about marketing and things like that, specifically for dentists. But other than that, I mean, just super excited to be on the on your show. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Michael Arias, thank you for being on what is inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Thank you for being on 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Stay tuned for more from our advertisers. Diabetes is a mountain pandemic. It's a disease that's not acute but chronic. Similar to this rhyming method, I have simplified the definition, the signs and symptoms, and the complications of diabetes for both adults and children in my books, Poems for Patients, A Focus on Diabetes, and The ABCs of Diabetes for Children. These books are available on Amazon.com, and for more information, you can visit my website, poemsbyag.com. That's poemsbyag.com.